Good morning, everyone. Uh, the first thing I want to say is thank you. Thank you, Dean Shankman, President Minnis, Mr. Sweeney, faculty and staff of Benedictine College, family and friends and sisters of the graduates, and you, class of 2019. But most of all, thank you to God for bringing us to this day. This is it, our graduation day. I stand before you today as your valedictorian, and it is only by God's grace that I have gotten to this point. I have to be honest, there was a time in my life that I really wanted this, to be known as the best. But if there's one thing I've learned during my time at Benedictine, it is this. There is so much more to greatness than the letters and numbers that appear on our transcripts. There are so many of you who are much more deserving to stand up here and speak of your Benedictine experience. I'm just here because I got good grades. While so many of you have contributed so much to this Benedictine College community, you have served as resident assistants, led mission trips to foreign countries, conducted research, competed in national championships, and the list goes on and on. But as it is, I am the one that Dean Shankman was frantically trying to get a hold of on Thursday morning to tell me that I was the one chosen to give this speech. And so, after praying about it, I give you some words of wisdom. One thing that I want us all to remember as we move on to the next stage of our lives. God told us through the prophet Jeremiah, I know well the plans I have in mind for you, says the Lord. Plans for your welfare and not for woe, so as to give you a future of hope. In case you don't already know, God is in control of your life. He knows exactly what he has planned for you. And some days, his plan is very different than our own. Maybe it's a big thing, like having all of your classes canceled because a mysterious gas cloud is working its way toward campus. <laughs> or maybe it's a smaller thing, like not being able to focus during your biology test because a jackhammer is tearing a hole in the wall of Westerman. <laughs> or it could be something so insignificant that it really shouldn't matter like going to the calf and finding that the ice cream machine is broken, again, and all you really wanted was an ice cream cone to celebrate the feast day of St. Scholastica. <laughs> God's plan is sometimes unexpected, but it is always good. No matter what the situation is, God has things under control. He won't let you down. Don't be scared of his plan because he knows what he's doing. And who knows, maybe someday he'll surprise you by fulfilling a childhood dream of yours that you'd stopped caring about just because he loves you so much. Although he may ask you to speak in front of a thousand people to go along with it. <laughs> My last word for you is this. As a soon-to-be graduate of the Benedictine College Education Department, I am a professionally trained builder of community. <laughs> and so, I tell you, that this is not the end of the Benedictine community that you have found here. Even though we may be separated, we will always be ravens, and we will always have the love and support of this community behind us wherever we go. And because of this, we can bravely go forward, always forward. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you.